Finley Automotive. They don't just have the drive to get you in a new car, which they do. They do. But also to rev up support for great community organizations like our next guest, LLS. That's right. Tyler Corder is the CFO of Finley Automotive. And joining us uh, is uh, Gordon Prouty. He is the chairman of the Light the Night Walk for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, LLS. It's great having you, gentlemen. How are you? Good morning. Great. Good to be here. Doing great. Hi. Uh, Tyler, let's uh, first of all talk about you and Finley and your support of LLS. I know it's been going on for many years now. This, yeah, this is one that we've really been involved with. Uh, I used to be their board uh, president for uh, a number of years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then one of their big fundraisers is the uh, Light the Night Walk. And of course, we're trying to raise money to find a cure for blood cancer. And so yes. in 2018, I chaired the uh, Light the Night Walk and we raised a lot of money. This year, my good friend Gordon is going to be the uh, Light the Night chairman. So I wanted to bring Yay. him on. We'll talk yeah. a little bit about the walk and what they're trying to do and uh, what's going on this year. Excellent. Yeah. Congratulations. You are carrying this torch big time. I, I really the, excited. The walk's in November. November 5th, Saturday, but November 5th. Yes. Planning starts now. This it is starts now. In fact, tomorrow morning we're having a corporate recruitment uh, mm -hmm. kickoff breakfast to get corporate people involved and start spreading the word about all the things that the uh, the walk will mean and the importance of the dollars that are raised. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, Tyler was chair in 2018 and that was our best year ever. Oh, wow. So not that there's a competition, mm. but right. uh, Listen. <laughs> we want to we want to get it. We want to get that. We want to have a great year this year. And it's I think a CFO, it's that F. Yes. It's a big F. Yes. <laughs> Capital. Uh, well, that's fantastic. And you know what? A great organization to be able to mm -hmm. do this for this kind of getting some pre-awareness and getting things going. Um, tell us what, what it's meant for you to be a, a part of this. You know, it's really important. It's, um, you know, over the years I've lost friends, colleagues, family members to blood cancers. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen firsthand some of the uh, uh, other friends who, who are continuing their battle and going through the journey. So it's important, you know, what the, the work that the LLS does is so important. You know, here in Nevada, the last fiscal year, $2 million went to support hundreds of patients in the state of Nevada. So mm -hmm. the work we're doing and the money we're raising goes right back here to Nevada and what could be more important. Sean and I had the honor of hosting the event, I believe in 2017, Many roughly. Ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's a beautiful, yeah. inspiring night. And I know I saw you at the Student of the Year campaign. I was just going to say, you're, you're the big part of that, and you do so much work for the organization, and, and we really appreciate that. Well, I lost my father to blood cancer in 2011, um, and April 8th, 2011. So, uh, yeah, it's left a mark on me. Um, but it's an incredible group of people really here is. in the valley who care and i just got a packet from lls in the mail yesterday and and the national research and progress mm -hmm. that is being made medically through the funding of programs right. like light like the night's incredible it's the research it's the support to families it's it's so important i mean the ultimate goal is to end blood cancer in, in for future generations but mm. until then the work they do is so important and we appreciate your support tyler's support yeah. and the community support i'll tell you financial well, you saw what happened with lls and uh, with uh, als rather in the, uh, mm -hmm. the the water uh, the the the, uh, with the ice bucket challenge right. yeah the, oh. the infusion of money that went to that organization mm -hmm. they were able to fast track some things that they weren't able to do and they got real progress and this is mm. why events like this are so important yeah. this money is so important to get closer to a cure uh, how do people get uh, involved in the walk coming up this up uh, you know we I think it, it was a little bit lighter the last the last year and all that but I'd like to yeah. see us get back to what did you have when you were there like three four thousand oh. oh yeah we had uh, yeah. at least four thousand people raised seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars wow year, so see now he's just showing okay yeah. wow. so we want to get to we want to we, yeah. we want to get to at least at least four thousand this year and we got plenty of time wow. to get there Saturday November 5th CSN, the West Charleston campus. Um, I'd like to see 5,000 people, not a competition, um, but it's really important. So uh, it's starting to mark your calendars. You can form a team to, to walk and raise money. You, uh, we're looking for corporate sponsors, but uh, it's it, going to be a great night. It is an incredible, incredible yeah. night, having seen it firsthand. I mean, I've walked in them, I've mm -hmm. hosted them. It just really is something special, whether you've been affected by it or not. And if, if folks listening right now are like, I think I've heard of that event. This is the event with the lanterns. Yes. Um, it's outside. CS said it's been an amazing location it's for been that. A great mm -hmm. By the way, we should mention you were the chair yes. of this event formally. So you have so much connection with LLS. Yeah, it's and it's and, and and the great thing about all of this, the reason I've been doing this for decades, mm -hmm. is that if you look at survival rates over the last 20, 30 years, survival rates for all types of blood cancers have improved dramatically. And that's what we're, that, that there's mm -hmm. progress being made. We're not to a cure yet, but people are living that wouldn't have lived 30, 40 years ago. So Which is great. Yes. Yeah. And this is this year's honored hero, Dil Dylan Castle, is a story. He's in remission right now. He's still mm. in treatment, but it's the kind of story we want to have more people to tell. That's fantastic. Excellent. Well, listen, keep up the great Good work. Good job, you guys. We will. Yes. 
Uh, listen, Thank Finley you. Automotive Group, proud supporter of community organizations in Southern Nevada, just like the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Lifeandnight.org if you want to learn more about the walk that's happening in November. Finleyauto.com for more on Finley.